Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Abhinav. So in this video, we are going to talk about the problem B of quote on round one, which is subtract operation. So this was a very amazing problem. Means the concept of this problem was really amazing, and uh, I took some time to uh, think about the logic. And uh, there was a, uh, a Sam I means a corner case also. The, not a corner case, but the thing was that uh, the values of the array should can also be negative. That is what I have done wrong in my first submission. I have just uh, checked the answer for the positive values. Okay. Uh, by the way, the the problem was really amazing. Fine. So in this uh, problem, what you can do is that you are given with a array of n numbers. You, what you can do is you can uh, select a number from the array, select element from the array. Then you have to subtract the value of that element from the all the remaining element, and you you can release that erase that element from the list. Okay. By doing this, you have to make uh, the final uh, element, which is uh, <coughs> Present in that array is 2k equal to k. Fine. So this is what you have to do. So first of all, we have to uh, observe one thing, a very important observation, a very important observation, which I will tell you in the whiteboard. Observation is, for example, we have uh, five numbers a, b, c, d, e. Okay. We have five numbers a, b, c, d, e. Let's, for example, we will take a. So we will subtract a from all the numbers. So it will be b minus a. It will be C minus A. It will be D minus A, and A minus A. Now this is the array what we have. Now, for example, we are subtracting this number from all the three, so it will be C minus A minus B minus A. So at last, it will become C minus B because A is cancelled to A. Now, when we subtract this to this, it will become D minus B, and it will become E minus B. Now, if we take this as a number, subtract this, it will become d minus c. It will become e minus c. And when we subtract this to here, it will become e minus d. This was the beauty of this problem. After every number of operations, the final answer will all only be the difference between the last two numbers. So we can basically take difference between the n two numbers. Is possible? Difference between the n two numbers is possible. This is a very common question. Okay, difference between the annual number is possible. So this is what we have to observe. This is what we have to observe. Fine. It took some time uh, by me to uh, understand to observe this particular logic, but it is the amazing logic. So yeah, I have just uh, written a uh, not a simple, a bit complex code to check that if uh, the particular k can be found by subtracting two numbers or not. So there are some cases, maybe some other cases were no, are not required, but uh, I have uh, done the cases. Fine. So it was like what I have done is uh, I have used two map. MPP is for the positive numbers and MPP one is for the negative numbers. And this is what I have done wrong in the first submission. Here I have taken uh, another map for a negative number. So if the number is negative, I will store it in MP, MPP1. Otherwise, it will be MPP. Fine. Now I will check for, so if a particular number is, is greater than K, okay, then I will check for that if that number minus K is everywhere or not, so that their difference is equal to K. So this is simple question. And if the, the difference between both, uh, just like this, let's move to understand this in the whiteboard. Okay, so what I have done is, for example, uh, the numbers are 2, 7, 5, 4. We have to check for that uh, is a number 5 is possible or not. So we will check for, first of all, we will check for, uh, for example, a, uh, a 1 is here. A 1 is also there. Okay. First of all, we will check for 1. So for 1, to make a number 5, we a 6 is required. This is the obvious thing. So, so that if we make 6 minus 1, it will be 5. So if 1 is there, we have MPP to check if a number is present or not. We will check for 6. So 6 is not present. So we will move to another number. Now we will check for 2. So for 2, a 7 is required. So that 7 minus 2 is 5. So we will check. Yeah, 7 is here. So the answer will be yes. That yeah. It is possible. For example, it will be 2, 3, 5. And at, uh, you can say not uh, this. Uh, it, it is like, uh, mm, just a minute, yeah, at 4 is required and numbers are 2, 3, 5. 
so in that case there is a problem that if we will check for two so a two uh, uh no 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 just a minute just a minute just a minute it will be like uh, if 10 is here and uh, 5 is here so yeah if for example a 0 is required for example 0 is required so we will check, check for 4 so to make 2 minus x 0 x should also be 2 so it will check that is 2 is present or not but we cannot take this 2 minus this 2 there is one more 2 so in that case we have to check that if the MPP of 2 is greater than 1 means more than 1 2's are present so that we can take this 2 and this 2 and their difference will be 0. So if if uh, vi means the particular element of the uh, array minus k is equal to equal to vi so we check karna padega hum log bar bar usi count nahi kar sakte isi 2 ko do bar count kar lo hum alag se count karna padega usse theek hai so this is what we have to do so ye code hai aur thoda samajh lena aur khud se implement karne ki koshish karo ki mera thoda code mein complex ho gaya is baar theek hai so try to implement it by yourself maybe you will get a uh, more neat and clean code so thank you for watching the video if you like it if you have any doubt you can comment it down or you can also join our telegram you can also comment in your linkedin thank you for watching the video i hope you like it thank you